Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Um, this tutorial will be simpler compared to my other tutorials. It's relatively simple, but um, I don't know. I, this is my first time that I'll be doing something like this. Again, at least for a painting tutorial. So the colors that I'll be using for today's painting will be listed in the description box below as well. And here they are, titanium white, Mars black, um, cerulean blue, cadmium yellow, and cadmium red. So basically the primary colors and the two shades, black and white, will be used for today's tutorial. So let's begin now. I'm going to go and do first the background. Um, the background of this painting we will be doing a silhouette type of painting. That's why I said it's relatively easy because you know how silhouettes work silhouettes work um they're just basically the shape of the object that we're trying to paint um that is actually suggestive of what the object actually is which means even if we're not doing the details the detail work um you can tell from the shape of it what we're trying to portray okay so again i'll be um starting the painting with the background colors and i'll also be listing in the description box below similar painting tutorials that i did in the past so that you can choose um from a lot of them and you can actually create a series of silhouette paintings by just referring to my painting tutorials so here we go now let's begin so for the background sky you know, in my previous video, I told my viewers that I'll be taping the back of my canvas on the surface so that it doesn't move, but I forgot to buy some tape. So it's gonna be moving a bit, and I apologize for that, but I'll make sure that it will not be um, uh, too moving so that um, we can actually focus on the painting and not on the moving canvas and make it dizzy and all that. So I'll be using some violet, so I'll be mixing some blue and red. So I'll be mixing some blue and red to create some violet. And I'm gonna start it will be more on the abstract-ish um, side or style and I'll be using thinner paints. I'll be getting my white as well and black so that we create this purpley, purpley skies. Actually, it's more of a sunset thing. I'll be getting my blue, so I'll be using the colors blue, red, violet, and sometimes yellow to create this um, sky background. There is no particular pattern that is required for the background. You do your, you do your own thing. Um, just be reminded or just be mindful about be mindful of the colors that you'll be using since we are doing a sunset scene unless you want to do something else um, the colors will be more on the purpley side and also muted mute the colors by adding black or brown so while the paint's still wet i'm gonna get my yellow and i'm gonna apply that color down here Okay, I'll be getting my white just to make things more pastel. Okay. I'll be getting some gray. I'm so sorry about the canvas moving, all right? I'm trying really hard for it not to move. So I'm gonna get my white and then black. gonna create some gray colors 
right down here. This will serve as the C, okay? I know that it doesn't make sense because the C and the color gray, I mean, right? That's because we're painting the sunset. I mean, we're painting a sunset scene and uh, the setting sun actually affects the colors of everything that is being hit by the light. Anyway, this will make sense more later. For now, if you're a beginner, I suggest that you um, follow what I'm doing and you learn as we go. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna straighten it later. For now, let's just allow this area to dry. I wanna go back to the sky and I'm gonna change my brush now because my brush is all muddy. Okay. I'm gonna change my brush and I'm just gonna go back to the sky part. I want to do more of um, a violet type of colors. So I'll be adding more violet colors, but quite dark on the sky. It's really up to you if you want to add more violet skies, but me, I kind of want it to be more on a darker violet. I'm going to add some darker shades of blue right here. And I'm just allowing the paints to mix with each other so that um, we really create that wholeness in the painting. I'm going to add pure blue here and there. I'll be getting some white as well, just to lighten some areas a bit. And of course, I'm very tempted to use my hands directly on the canvas. And I hope that um, I finish it um, fast and good. Let me check first if I'm filming. Yes, I am filming. Okay. I'm going to add more dark blues right here. This will suggest more of, um, yeah, sunset and very near nighttime already. It's not as if the sunset is just starting. The night is really there already. You can tell. This side will be covered with foliage and a little bit of this side. So don't worry too much. I'm not really focusing on this area. Okay, I'm gonna use another brush just to make sure that I'm using cleaner brush. I'll be getting my pure yellow plus white. And I'll be painting it right here. Just be careful because the gray paint is still wet. So you will probably touch it by accident but just make sure that you're trying to avoid it as much as possible. So I'm just gonna color just right on top of the horizon line uh, with some yellow. Okay. Remember to mix a bit. I'm gonna add tiny uh, suggestions of yellow right here okay i kind of like this abstract skies that i'm doing i'm gonna get some white i'm gonna lighten the right corner 
so that it is suggestive of where the light is coming from. Just brighten this side. Right. Kind of like this one. All right. I'm going to wash my brush out. You know, I think this is the first time that we wash our brush for this painting because, you know, as much as possible, I want all the colors to be present in one area and that we don't need to wash our brush because again wholeness of the painting i'm gonna dab on some white markings um randomly in between the colors this is to suggest you know tiny openings on the sky that the light is still there but it's about to close i mean the sky is about to close because it's almost night time i'm gonna make some uh, lines using white okay, I'm gonna lighten this part of it and try to be gentle on your brush strokes because again this is just the background we're not really focusing on the background but I think the background for this painting is really important because it, it suggests the setting of the painting it suggests the mood as well okay sometimes or usually the background is not really that important but there are paintings that require clear indication of what the background is so that you the the viewer knows exactly the mood of the painting or the setting of the painting blue I'll be adding a little bit of blue So let me check. I'm gonna, I want to darken it even more. I really want to darken this. It's up to you if you want to um, darken it as well. But I really, really want to darken it. Because I really want to suggest night time. Well, almost. Okay, I'm gonna apply some of that dark clouds right just above the horizon line you know a lot of these areas will be covered with some other figures but uh, let's just do it anyway because if you want to stop at a certain point even without doing the whole thing you create something
All right. As I told you, I won't be focusing too much here. But now let's create the foliage right on the side. Okay, so for the foliage, I'm just going to use some uh, uh, like this type of brush. Uh, what type of brush is this? I don't even know. I'm just, um, just going to describe to you the texture of the brush bristles. So it's all um, very pointy and very stiff. So I want you to get that type of brush. So I'm going to get my black. Okay, just pure black. If you want to mix your black with some blue, I think it's fine. Just to not uh, create that super black color. Maybe you can add a little bit of yellow. Okay, my yellow is all dry. It's all from the past painting. So just make sure that the most dominant color is black. And now I'm going to start creating some silhouette right on the right side of this canvas. So this will be a suggestion of a tree. Let's start from here. You don't have to stress so much about this step. That's why I told you uh, this is more of a beginner type of painting. Just enjoy all the dabbing. We're going to create some more details later, but for now, just get um a large portion of this right side covered with this um color it's very easy okay the paint's still wet actually the background paint but um we can always uh go back to that later i just want to make sure that this uh silhouette is already here so that I can um, measure where other things are gonna go You know, I'm using golden, I mean golden paints, and what I've noticed is that golden dry really uh, slow. Um, I don't know if it's just the weather, or, I mean I can actually resolve that by just, uh, by just getting my hair dryer and dry things much quicker. This is really, really wet, and this is really, really wet, <laughs> by the way. I don't uh, like how wet the paint is. Anyway, I'm going to allow this first to dry. At least I know where things are going to go. I'm going to go back to this later. It's wet, and I'm not enjoying the, the process of doing the silhouette when it's wet. Or maybe I'm gonna go and get another brush. I'm gonna try it again. So you can see I was trying to get that full black color, but then the background color just makes everything wet. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go back to this, but let me do what I can do. And if it starts to annoy me even further, <laughs> I'm gonna go and wait for it to completely dry. Just adding more black, pure, pure black. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. And then let me add a little bit of foliage. You know, this type of painting that paints the corners or the sides of the canvas, uh, it frames the painting in such a way that it makes the audience focus more on what the main subject of the painting is. It is a frame that is part of the painting. That's a good thing about um, painting the sides and the corners. Okay, I'm gonna go and wait for it to dry because it's starting to annoy me. It's just, it's so wet. Okay, let me do the sketch for the silhouette of a lady on, on a swing, okay? While waiting for it to dry, I'm just gonna go check my my YouTube right here. Because you know what? I'm actually watching something while I'm doing the tutorial, but it's on silent mode, so you cannot really hear cannot really hear what I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching a cartoon. <laughs> if you wanna know, I love cartoons. Anyway, I'm gonna go sketch the subject now. I hope this area is drier compared to this area. So I'm gonna get my black and I'm just gonna sketch. Okay, I'm gonna sketch. So if I make a mistake, I'm just gonna go and make the correction. Uh, don't stress so much because I myself um, also correct I mean I also make mistakes of course <laughs> so I'm gonna go and and if you're as if you're wondering if there is um, what they call this uh, tracing thingy uh, material that out be telling you to use i'm sorry to disappoint but i won't be doing that i haven't done that because i don't want to do it not because i want it to be harder on to be harder for you but uh learning is not tracing learning to trace is more of a uh, it's not really a painting thing. Even if you tell me that the masters in the past have used that, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just not going to encourage that type of um, method in painting. We all differ, you know, in our views. And it's okay. It's okay if we have different views about different things because if you want to if you want something like a trace or a guide or anything like that mm, I don't know what I cannot suggest anything or to some artists um, I think they are doing that not to be bad or anything but I think some artists who allow uh, tracing materials um, they want it to be easier for their audience and maybe they just not they're just not into making their audience learn you know how to draw come on this is just silhouette you don't need a tracer here. And if somebody gets mad at me for what I said, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay as well. Don't worry.
because for sure I'm gonna create mistake here myself Again, it's too wet. I will definitely make a lot of adjustment because because of um call this Remember that this girl is, or this lady, is seated on um, a swing. But my paint, again, is still wet. So, anyway. So the swing, before I do the leg, the rest of the leg, I'm just going to go ahead and show you where she's seated. some adjustments it's slightly angled or inclined simply because her weight her weight is on this side so the swing should be um, tilted um, like okay. it should be tilted and geared toward this side just a little inclination or just a little incline inclination what am i saying So just darken. This is, I think, the most challenging part of this painting. So I'm gonna start the, mm -hmm, what was that? I'm gonna start the, the swing. She's leaning on the rope. Okay. But 
bit. Okay, just like that. You know why uh, the legs look more big I mean the silhouette of the leg that's because it's actually two legs I will do some highlighting later so that you can actually um, segregate the two visually Okay, let me further extend the swing. So just draw another line. Just like that.
I'm gonna get some gray and I'm just gonna create some details gonna separate now the two legs by doing some detailing it's tiny bit and also you know this is the problem with wet paints I cannot really I'm not going to buy golden paint ever again. I just don't like the color. It's so wet. And I'm going to create some brown. So I'm going to, if you have burnt sienna, you can use that. And I'm just going to use some dark browns right here. Also a little bit right here. And then I want to go back to doing more because this side is more dry now. So I'm just detailing even further. Okay, silhouette. Silhouette foliage. It's just too wet. Also, I think the weather has something to do with how fast my paints dry because you know it's quite cold here <clears throat> you can tell that I'm on the coughing side <laughs> I just don't like how wet the the painting is and maybe I'm gonna correct this line it's too much for me it's 
So I'm going to correct that one by actually deleting it. Mm -hmm. Like that. I'm gonna get some yellow. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a bit of a cold. So I'm gonna use that yellow to create that brown color that I was telling you earlier. Just gonna highlight the face. It's very tricky, okay? I'm gonna get a cleaner brush and I would like to make some more light suggestions. All right, so before I uh, do some more detailing, I'm going to do the, the C part, okay? And let me check the brightness. Okay. I'm going to do the C part so that we get the view of this painting already. I thought it's gonna be really, really easy, but because of the paint, I don't wanna blame something else, but because of the paint, um, 
it's making it more difficult for me. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break for a moment. I'm gonna wait for this to dry so that you know as when we continue, the video will be continuous anyway, but I'm, I'll be taking a break. I'm gonna wait for this to dry so that it's much easier for me to proceed, okay? So, so give me a minute. Okay, now that we're back, I just had to wait for a few minutes for it to dry. And now I'm gonna do the, the C part or the beach part. And for that, I'll be using a palette knife. I'll be getting my black. So just get your black. And I'll be using the back of the palette knife to create that um, rocky portion of the beach. So I'm just gonna make some patterns right here. Okay, so just rotate your palette knife just like what I'm doing, okay? I'm gonna allow this first again to dry. Okay. Now, while we're waiting for it to dry, okay, um, I'm gonna go and do some more foliage by using the same, or by using, yeah, by using the same technique. So I hope this area is much more drier compared to earlier. Next time, I will have my hair dryer right beside me. You know, I'm in a new place. I mean, I just moved. So this is also my second tutorial here in the United States. I mean, here in my new place. So I'm still adjusting in all honesty and I haven't really figured out everything how to do my painting tutorials in my new place because back in Manila I exactly know what to do where to place my materials. Now when it comes to my setup I'm still not sure where to place some things. Okay. Anyway I'll get the hang of it and definitely I will be able to be much more comfortable when I do my tutorials in a new setup. Mm -hmm. You can still hear some street noise. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna extend it even further. You can also hear some sort of noise upstairs. Okay. I'm gonna get a small brush. Let's create some more details on the face. Do it. Okay, that's her nose. Mm -hmm.
right? Okay. Now I want to go back to the to the beach. I'm gonna create some uh, light violet color. We already used that color earlier, but this time I'll be using more white to that so that it's lighter. Okay, I'm just going to color this area with some uh, violet colors. And I'm doing it in a horizontal way. Okay, I'm gonna do another palette knifing, but this time I'll be using gray. I'll be using some grays. And just along the area that um, we already did some palette knife on. some more black just to add some more texture Hints of yellows. Right here. Also, right here. Let me check. Okay. okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of that brownie colors.
gonna go and get some white and apply some white on certain areas And of course, I'm trying to watch. Okay. If you're wondering what I'm watching, um, it's Sophia the First. <laughs> it's a ch it's a children's um, cartoons. But whatever, I want to watch it, so I'm watching it. check okay wow you can hear that someone is having a like a drilling activity <laughs> I'm so sorry so I'm gonna apply some white I mean why do they have to do that it's, it's, you know, it's 4.30 in the afternoon here. Okay. I need some black. Can you hear that? Can you hear the that drilling thing? Uh, why? Okay. Now let's go back to the foliage because I'm not really satisfied with the foliage just yet mm -hmm. okay now let's highlight the face let's highlight the face I'm gonna get some white Highlight this and this. Let's add some more dark colors. Let me know in the comment section below if you can hear that drilling from my neighbor. Or if you're not going to tell me, at least I know that you don't care about that. I'm 
maybe some that. Let me check, guys. Just to fix it. want to make this a little more light I mean light gray I feel like it's too a hard I mean there are harsh lines right there and I want to remove those harsh lines Just keep going. Gonna make this side a little more on the yellowish color. I'm just going to redefine the horizon line. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my pure white. make sure that this area is brighter
I'm just going to create some more um, like rocks. and also some dark spots on the distance I mean from the distance some white and then some yellows I just adjusted the shape of the head. Okay. And I'm going to use pure white. We're going to highlight just along the silhouette. But you have to be very careful when you do this because you don't want to over highlight it. You just want to do it along. Just like that. And I'll 
face okay. also along the swing along the seat just like that to give her a bit of a glow And of course, you want to highlight a bit the, the rope. Just give it that highlight. check some reds right here Add more foliage if you want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add more yellowy colors.
There you go. This is good. So I'm going to sign this now. I'm going to sign I think I'm going to sign you saying uh, maybe yellow because it's the brightest color. Maybe right here. Okay. We're done, guys. We're done. So I hope you still enjoy this one. I thought it's going to be easy, but I was wrong. It's not that easy, at least on my part, simply because, by the way, let me just correct the shape of the swing of the seat. I feel like it, it's not even. If it looks really, really like uneven, you can let it as is so that you create a more, you know, more natural looking swing that it's made of wood. But I still want it to be a little more straight. I must admit this is not easy really I mean this could have been easier for me if the paints were really on my favor usually I don't complain about the, the about the paints but now uh, it's just too wet for me I just don't like the wetness of the paint Right. so I think this is done and I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you paint along with me and see you in my next video bye guys